What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Mike. We're gonna do a Sunday pickups video. I'm gonna try to condense a lot of the things that I got um, together. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. So the first thing I wanna show you guys that I got is I got a Game Boy Advance. Um, new to me, not new in the sense of brand new. It still has the old, you have to have a light source to be able to see the game, which is cool. Um, as a kid, I never got a chance to get one of these. I got the Game Boy Advance SP, which came out later, and I had the old Game Boy Color until I got the Game Boy Advance SP. I still have my original Game Boy Advance SP from when I was a kid. Um, it is in a new shell though, which is cool. I had someone do that for me because I got dropped a lot as a child, so I had to get me the new cover. So yeah, we do have this Game Boy Advance is what I picked up. So the next thing that I got is this Resident Evil Gaiden. So Resident Evil Gaiden is a very rare Resident Evil Game Boy game. Um, the combat system is very revolutionary, especially for Resident Evil. It's very much so a um, you enter combat and there's a little meter that goes back and forth across your screen and you have to tap A in that meter to attack the zombie. It does have an ammunition system, um, so you have bullets, you have a knife. Um, the starting character, whenever I booted up whoever played it before me, started off as Barry. I don't know if that's the actual story. I'm gonna have to play it and let you guys know. Maybe I can find me a little emulator and we can play it like that, that'd be fun. So yeah, but I did get the very rare Resident Evil Guide. So, the uh, next couple things that I want to show you guys are going to be kind of together. Um, I did get a Nintendo GameCube. Now, this is kind of for my birthday, but I wanted to get one before, while I had one. So, this is kind of like my birthday present. My birthday is in 29 days from today. So, yeah, that is what we scooped up. September 29th is my birthday, so I had to get this a little early just to make sure that I had it. So I have the GameCube, set that right there. Um, I got two games for the GameCube along with everything to set it up and play it with. I got Resident Evil 2 for the GameCube. So I'm gonna be playing that because I'm a huge Resident Evil fan as you can see with Resident Evil Gaiden. And then I got Hitman Blood Money which I just got for PlayStation 2, um, just because it's one of those games that I had as a kid, and I had a nice CD cases as a kid, and I lost all of the games from my childhood that were on PlayStation 2. So I'm slowly trying to get them back because I have a lot of fun memories of me playing Hitman. So the next thing I want to show you is my birthday present from my wife. Now, obviously we know my birthday is another 29 days away, but she ordered it and it accidentally came early, guys. It came early. And I have Pokemon Coliseum on the GameCube. Um, I do need one other. I need Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, but I am so thankful that she was able to find this. Um, and look at this, guys. It has the original documents in there and everything. So that is huge. That is very huge. So thank you so much for that. And I have never played Pokemon Coliseum. Um, I played a little bit of XD, Gale of Darkness, and it's on the channel. So I did not finish it, but I did play it a little bit. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing this. I'm gonna get the little connectivity hookups for the GameCube so we can play some Game Boy Advance games on this GameCube. And you guys will be able to see that. So that's gonna be cool. Um, the last crazy thing that I have for you guys is what's in this envelope right here. What's in this envelope right here. Um, now, inside this envelope is what a piece of history, a piece of, oh my, a piece of pop culture. Um, it's a lot, guys. There's a lot, a lot of, you're gonna see, you're gonna see why I'm so, like shook by this so I'm gonna pull this out it is wrapped in paper towel it appears this is the first time me opening this you just watch me cut it on screen so here it is I'm opening it up the paper towel and it is 
piece of parchment. I'll pull that in so you can read it. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the Pokemon scavenger hunt, Carmike Cinema's Frontier 6. I'm going to gently lift this. Frontier 6 Theaters wants to thank you for your participation in helping us find all of our missing Pokemon. And as a token of our appreciation, we're presenting all of our Pokemon scavengers with an official scene from the first Pokemon movie. So enjoy and thanks for your help. This right here, and you can kind of see it in the light right there. You can see it is the Clone Blast Toys, the back of the Clone Blast Toys from Pokemon the first movie. I'm going to try to get it in here just a, a bit. You can you can kind of make it out. Let me turn it over. There we go. You can kind of see it better right there, guys. That is a scene from the first Pokemon movie. And we have it. We have a piece of freaking history right here, guys. And I'm going to post that uh, probably on Twitter. You guys are going to see, see it on Twitter before you guys see it here. So that is everything that I picked up. Not in just you know one week. This is everything that I kind of got together within like the last month or so. But I got this today, and I also got Pokemon Coliseum today. So, yeah, that is huge, man. I mean, oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. And this this right here, um, you actually see the back pattern of Blastoise. You see the two cannons on his back. And I'm I'm so angry that I missed the Pokemon Go event for the um, Blastoise. We just didn't have enough people to participate in the raid battle to defeat it. And uh, I didn't get a chance to get it, so I'm, I really, you know... Bla it, it's not so much as like Blastoise is my favorite starter. Obviously, it's you know it's there, but the clone Blastoise just looks so freaking amazing, and I'm so upset that I missed the chance to get it. So yeah, that is that is what I got. The uh, Pokemon clip from the first film. I'm gonna get this framed eventually, so I have to uh, figure out how I can do that. So yeah, I'm gonna set this right here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're going to be doing some Pokemon Coliseum shenanigans eventually. Um, like I said, i got to get a couple more games for the GameCube that I want to play. I want to get, um, obviously, the Wind Waker would be fun. Um, I'm going to get the rest of the Resident Evil collection on GameCube. Um, Resident Evil 4 was on GameCube. Resident Evil 3 was on GameCube. So I might get all those. Um, but yeah, there is a ton of ton of cool stuff here guys that I got and uh, I'm very thankful that I can do this and show you guys the collection of stuff that I'm building so yeah if you guys do enjoy this kind of thing please smash the like button support is always greatly appreciated but with that everybody I've been the Phantom Michael please don't judge me back on that bed I, we just got back from vacation literally today we were on our first year anniversary vacation and so that is like my unpacked clothes so but if you guys did enjoy this please smash the like button like I said and I will see you guys all in the next one.